Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about changing the management IP address of your Packet Master using the device's web GUI interface. Now if this is the first time that you're unboxing your Packet Master, the default IP address of the device is going to be 192.168.0.200 and that's going to be on a slash 24 subnet. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is change the configuration of the NIC on your laptop or desktop to be on the same subnet as the Packet Master's default IP address. If you're unsure of how to do that, you can check out some of our other videos. We have uh, instructions for all the operating systems on how to change the network configuration of your, of your computer's NIC. Okay, once we do that, the next step is going to be taking an Ethernet patch cord, running it from the NIC of your computer to the Ethernet management interface on the Packet Master, and that's going to be the lower left-hand most port on every device. And then we're just going to open up a web browser, such as Chrome here, and we're going to put in the IP address of the Packet Master. In this case, 192.168.0.200, and that'll bring up the web GUI interface of the device. In the top menu here, we're going to go to the device dropdown and click on IP configuration. And this is where you can make all of the configurations you need to make to get the device active on your own network. So we can change the IP address here, subnet, and the gateway. I'm just going to change it to a different IP on the same subnet because when we click apply, the Packet Master is going to attempt to redirect us to that new IP address, and if it's in the same subnet, it'll be successful in doing that. Now, if we were to change it to something, say like 10.1.1.100, and still using a slash 24, it doesn't matter, 10.1.1.1, the Packet Master is still going to attempt to redirect us to that new IP, but of course, the computer that we're on probably does not have a connection to that network because we're on a different subnet. So you'll have to change the settings on your NIC back to the original ones to access the device at its new IP. Okay, that's everything for this video, and that's everything about changing the management IP of the Packet Master and the web GUI. See you later.